Smile and learn! Hello, friends! Today we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a square, also known as the surface area of the square. You're probably asking yourselves, what is the area of the square and what is it for? Before we start, let's recap what a square is. A square is a plane figure with four equal sides that are parallel to each other and it has four right angles. That's why we say a square is a regular polygon. We measure its surface in square inches, square feet, or square miles. As you can see in this picture, the area of the square is the total number of square units that fit inside. To calculate the area of the square, we should use the following formula. The area of the square is equal to multiplying one side by another. The sides of this square measure 3 inches each. To find its area, we should multiply one side by the other, meaning we should multiply one side by itself. That is 3 by 3, which equals 9. Awesome! The area of this square is 9 square inches. In this square, we can fit 9 1 inch squares. It is very important to know how to find the area of the square. Let's look at some examples. Patricia is going to build a house on a square lot. If each side measures 20 feet, how big would be the total surface area of Patricia's house? To find out, we need to calculate the area of this square. Remember that we should multiply one side by the other. Let's see, 20 by 20, equals 400. Great! Patricia is going to build a 400 square foot house. It'll be huge! Pay close attention. If we were patient enough to count each square, we would see that there are exactly 400 squares, measuring one square foot each. Let's help Patricia a bit more. She wants to build a square garden next to her house. If each side of the square measures 8 feet, how big would the garden be? To find out, we need to calculate the area of this square. We're going to multiply one side by the other, meaning 8 by 8, which equals, come on, tell me! That's right, 8 times 8 is 64. The garden will have a surface area of 64 square feet. As you have been able to see, Knowing how to calculate an area of a square is very important in construction or architecture. Would you like to try another example? Look for a measuring tape and calculate the next square object you can find. Remember, you only need to multiply one side by the other. See you soon! Hey everybody! Today we're going to teach you how to calculate the area of a rectangle, also called the surface area of a rectangle. Let's start by remembering what a rectangle is. A rectangle is a plane figure with four sides that make four right angles. It has two equal parallel sides. That means its opposite sides are equal and parallel. Its area can be measured using different units of measurement, depending on the system we use and its size. For instance, it can be measured in square inches, square feet, or square miles if it's very large. As you can see in this image, the area of the rectangle is the number of square units that the figure has inside it. To calculate the area of a rectangle, we need to know the formula. Area is equal to length times width. You will see that the length is represented by a letter L and the width is represented by a letter W. Let's practice. This rectangle's length is 4 inches and the width is 3 inches, as we said before. To calculate its area, we must multiply the length by the width. That is, 4 times 3 equals 12. Great! The area of this rectangle is equal to 12 square inches. That means 12 1 square inch squares fit in this rectangle. Easy, isn't it? Knowing the area of a rectangle is very important. Should we take a look with a real-life example? The school principal wants to build a basketball court in the playground. The court has a length of 90 feet and a width of 50 feet. 
What is the area that she will need to build the basketball court? To find out, we need to calculate the area of the basketball court. And as you can see, it is a rectangle. Remember that we must multiply length times width. Let's see, 90 times 50 equals 4,500. Great, the principal will need 4,500 square feet to build the basketball court. We're going to have so much fun. Take a closer look. If we had the patience to count them all, you would see that there are exactly 4,500 square feet squares on this court's surface. Do you want to try an example? Find a meter stick and calculate the area of the next rectangular object you find. Remember that you only have to multiply the length by the width. See you soon! Hello friends! Today we're going to show you how to calculate the area of a triangle also called the surface of a triangle. Let's start by remembering what a triangle is. A triangle is a plane figure with three sides that forms three angles and three vertices. This makes it the geometric figure with the fewest sides. Its area can be measured in square inches, square feet, square miles, and many other units of measurement. As you know, there are different types of triangles. Equilateral triangle, scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, acute triangle, right triangle, and obtuse triangle. Today we will learn how to calculate the area of all of them. As you can see in this image, the area of a triangle is the number of square units that the figure contains inside. To calculate the area of a triangle, we must do the following formula. The area of a triangle is equal to the base times the height divided by 2. Let's practice with a right triangle. The base of this triangle measures 4 inches and its height measures 3 inches. What will its area be? Let's see. To calculate the area of a triangle, we must multiply the base by its height and then divide it by 2. That is, 4 times 3 equals 12 and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Great! The area of this triangle is equal to 6 square inches. This triangle contains 6 1 square inch squares. Knowing the area of the triangle is very important. Let's look at another example. Anna wants to paint the front of her triangular house. She wants to know the area of the wall to find out how much paint she has to buy. If the base is 10 feet and the height is 30 feet, what is the total area? Remember that we must multiply the base by the height and divide by 2. Let's see. 10 times 30 equals 300, and 300 divided by 2 equals 150. Very good. The area of Anna's triangular house wall is 150 square feet. She'll have to buy a lot of paint. As you can see, knowing how to calculate the area of a triangle is very important. You only have to multiply the base by the height and divide the result by 2. Are you up for calculating other triangles on your own? See you later! Hey friends! Today we are going to show you how to calculate the area of a rhombus, also called the surface of a rhombus. Let's start by remembering what a rhombus is. A rhombus is a parallelogram with four equal sides. Its opposite sides are parallel and its opposite angles are equal, which must be different from each other, meaning that not all angles can be 90 degrees because that would be a square. Its surface area can be measured in square inches, square feet, square miles, and many other units of measurement. As you can see in this image, the area of the rhombus is the number of square units that the figure contains inside. To calculate the area of the rhombus, we must use the following formula. The area of a rhombus is equal to the first diagonal times the second diagonal divided by 2. Diagonals are lines that go from one vertex to another vertex. There is one diagonal longer than the other. That is why we call the longest diagonal 1 and the shortest diagonal 2. The longest diagonal is represented by D1 
and the shortest diagonal by D2. Let's practice! The longest diagonal of this rhombus measures 15 inches and the shortest diagonal measures 8 inches. What will its area or surface be? To calculate the area or surface of a rhombus, we must multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and then divide by 2. That is, 15 times 8 equals 120 and 120 divided by 2 equals 60. Great! The area of this rhombus is equal to 60 square inches. This rhombus fits 61 square inch squares. Well done! Let's look at another example. Anna has a rhombus shaped kite. If the longest diagonal measures 30 inches and its shortest diagonal measures 16 inches, what is its total area or surface? Remember that we must multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and then divide by 2. Let's see. 30 times 16 equals 480 and 480 divided by 2 equals 240. That's great! We have helped Anna to find out her kite's area. Did you see that? That's awesome! As you have seen, Knowing how to calculate the area of a rhombus is very important. All you have to do is multiply the longest diagonal by the shortest diagonal and divide the result by 2. Are you ready to calculate the area of the next rhombus you find? See you later! Hello friends! Today we're going to explain how we calculate the area or surface of a circle. Many of you are asking yourselves, what is it and what is it for? A circle is a plane figure whose boundaries are a circumference. This means that the circle is everything the circumference contains. Or in other words, the circle is the inside of the circumference. Because a circle is a plane figure, we measure the area or surface of the circle in square yards, square inches, square miles. As you can see in this picture, the area of the circle is the total number of square units that fits inside the circumference. First off, let's recap some parts of the circle. Here is the center, and this is the radius. To find the area of the circle, we multiply pi by the radius square, meaning we multiply pi by the radius that is multiplied by itself. Also remember that for every circumference in the world, number pi is represented by the Greek letter pi. And it's an infinite number. 3.14159265358979323284 The digits go on and on! In everyday life, this number is shortened to 3.14 to express it in a simple way. Let's practice. The radius of this circle is 6 inches. To find the area of the circle, we should multiply pi by the radius square. In other words, multiply it by itself. Then we should multiply the result by pi. This means that 6 squared equals 36. And if we multiply 36 by 3.14, we would get 113.04. That's it! The area of the circle equals 113.04 square inches. This means that 113.04 squares can fit in this circle, each measuring one square inch. It's very important to know how to measure the area of the circle. Let's look at an example. Anna wants to buy some fabric to make a new tablecloth. The table is round and its radius measures 50 inches. How much fabric will she need for the table? To find out, we should calculate the area of this round table. Remember that we should square the radius. In other words, multiply it by itself and then multiply the result by pi. Let's see, 50 squared equals 2,500 and 2,500 multiplied by 3.14 is 7,850. Great. 
Anna needs 7,850 square inches of fabric to make a new tablecloth. Pay close attention. If we were patient enough to count them, we would see that there are exactly 7,850 squares on this tablecloth, each measuring one inch. But I don't think I'm going to count them now. <laughs> I'd rather calculate the area of other round objects instead, like the wheel on my bike, for example. Would you like to try measuring yours? See you around! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.